for the last month, the luxury apartment real estate investment trusts that we here at The Juice love have recovered nicely, outpacing the major indices. But why do we love them? Very simply, because of filthy rich renters. For every meaningful decline in home prices, enough renters step off the sidelines and become homeowners, effectively acting as support for housing prices. At the same time, another financially healthy subset loves the freedom of and intends to keep renting, which will keep luxury rentals at premium prices even if overall median prices start to decline. So there will always be demand for high-end apartments, Avalon Bay Communities, Equity Residential, and Essex Property Trust own and operate in prime urban and suburban locations. These companies command a premium on rent because they focus on high-end luxury, as in amenities and new or relatively new construction and in-demand central city and suburban locations. Just consider Manhattan, where EQR has a large presence. As of November, average rent on a one-bedroom apartment there hit $4,190. The median is $4,000. Of course, median represents the middle number in the range of values. The average inches higher due to the higher costs of luxury units. The apartments EQR leases in Manhattan's top neighborhoods, Chelsea, Nomad, and the West Village, generally rent for between $5,000 and $7,000. Check out the income data from all the upper echelon markets EQR runs in. Suffice to say, these numbers skew higher in Manhattan. Overall, a nightmare scenario for most renters, but a drop in the relative bucket for the most affluent. All of this said, nightmares can become dreams when renters turn the screws on their landlords, like the eye-popping data out of San Francisco that we cover in today's Juice newsletter. Sign up to find out.